found out in August 2009 that I was expecting a little girl. We hadn't got a name for her at the time and Justin, with it being his first child, Sky's dad, um, he was just worried throughout because he didn't think that the pregnancy symptoms were right. Um, I went and it was a normal day. Jordan went to school and at 10 o'clock on the 10th of December, I went into premature labour on the downtown stairs toilet at home. For most women, pregnancy is around 40 weeks. Between 37 and 42 is considered full term, and before 37 weeks is considered premature. More than 80,000 babies are born prematurely in Britain, and around 40,000 need to be treated in intensive care. Justin ran for an ambulance, and I thought that they did deliver her at home, and they didn't. All the way down from my house to the hospital, I felt Sky's heart beating on my right leg, the top of my right thigh, so I knew she was still alive. I got to the hospital and she was delivered and I didn't dare look at her. They went out the room and they never explained nothing to us at all. Justin got me a look at her and she was alive. The Nuffield Council considers ethical questions raised by advances in medical care. They drew up a report of guidance or set of medical guidelines which were endorsed by the British Association of Prenatal Medicine and are followed by NHS hospitals. The guidelines say that if a baby is born before 22 weeks, it should not be routinely resuscitated or receive intensive care. Obviously, if it's if it's stillborn, then that the the rule the rule's been put in place there. There's there's nothing you can do for that baby. But if that baby's been born and breathing, why? Well, it's murder. There is a petition in place to revise and reconsider the cutoff date to which premature babies are resuscitated. Tina and Melanie support this petition. Until this petition gets movement, premature babies are being left defenceless. They left me in a room with Sky and Justin, and five and a half hours later they returned, midwife with the doctor, and the midwife said that she was a little fighter and she'd soon be in the sky with the angels. Five and a half hours into as being at the hospital and Sky being alive, breathing, they still never intervened. You'd want someone to fight for your child if it was breathing and that's how I that's how I see it. When my daughter was born really premature and she was she was born poorly, I wanted everyone to fight for her. Now we're a family of four and I think it'd be an even bigger joy if Sky was here with us to enjoy that family and if there was a petition in place and things were getting done for other families then that would bring me more peace and comfort and knowing that other families out there are getting the help that I never got. If you want to help make a difference and improve the standard of care for premature babies in the UK then keep calm and sign here.